Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to my channel, The Empress in the Sun Tarot. We are going to just do a quick zodiac check-in. We are going to start with Taurus and work our way around the zodiac. So, Taurus, we are going to start with you with the energy cards. And we will get the card of patience for you, Taurus. And then we're going to get a romance angels. And you get the card of children. Your love life is being affected by your children. So, those are for you, Taurus. We're going to move on to Gemini. In Gemini, you get the energy card of Six Chakra, Archangel Metatron. And then Gemini, you get the card of True Love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So, um, Gemini, are you feeling very connected to your person um, today? Very, very Six Chakra. Um, we are going to move on to Cancer. In Cancer, you get the card of... The goddess of the moon. Um, definitely your energy cancer, isn't it? Um, with, you know, cancer does roll the moon. And then you get the card of separation. Time apart from your her partner is on the horizon. But just know um, you can really use that um, time and energy to your advantage, cancer. Um, we're going to move on to Leo. And Leo, for energy, you get the card of storm warning. Um, Leo, what's going on? And then you get the card of new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So, Leo, we are liking that opportunity for brand new love to um, strike in your life. So, um, we like that. Um, we're going to move on to Virgo. Virgo, you get the card of the thinking man, which is definitely Virgo energy. And then you get the card of you deserve love. You are lovable. So, um, Virgo, make sure um, you're paying attention to your self-love. Some affirmations may be helpful for you. Um, we're going to move on to Libra. And Libra, you get the card of the garden and the gate, which is, you know, you have the key to that self-healing right inside you. And you get the card of let your friends help. Ask and accept for support from others. So, um, Libra, do you need to go out with your friends a little? Get out a little? Um, maybe that is the key. Maybe that's the key. Getting out a little bit. Um, out, of your, out of your bubble, out of your box. Um, we're going to move on to Scorpio. And Scorpio, you get the card of worth waiting for. You have divine timing is at work in your love life. And you get the yin-yang card. So, Scorpio, we feel like you're getting very balanced in your energy, which is going to bring in that person you're seeking. Wonderful, Scorpio. Um, we're going to move on to Sag. And Sagittarius, you get the card of man holding a coin. And for Romance Angel, Sad, you get the card of Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So, we feel that's definitely very Sag energy. Um, maybe Sag, as you're out um, being flirting and being lighthearted, um, you may have a new opportunity um, fall into your lap, Lisa. So, we're going to move on to Capricorn. And Capricorn, you get the card of Happy Family. And you get the card of soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So, yay for you, Cappy. We are super happy that that is the energy of the day for you. Um, we are going to move on to Aquarius. And Aquarius, you get the cards of door to romance and the card of honeymoon. Enjoy the holiday time together. So, Aquarius, what is going on? Um, fun times. <laughs> so, he says, fun times. Um, Pisces, you get the card of all tied up. And then you get the card of release your ex. Pisces, let that shit go. Say goodbye to that person that's holding your energy up. Don't let that other person's energy block your, um, your good time. Okay, then we get to Aries. And Aries, you get the card of indecision, which is... So unlike you, we feel like Aries is definitely normally very um, action-oriented, Celia so says. And Aries, you get the card of engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So um, Aries, are you thinking about popping the question? Aries, are you going to pop the question? Aries, are you popping the question? That's what that tells me. Um, so maybe some Aries are getting engaged this year. Um, so we hope um, that message hits everyone well. We're going to get a card for the general energy of the day. 
And that card is the Healer of the Ages. And we're going to get this one, which is the Chemistry card. So, um, are you being attracted to... <laughs> are you being attracted to follow your path today? Um because that is what we're all being called to do. Be become that healer. Um, and through that chemistry and that attraction to that other person that can really heal so much within you. Because as you're feeling that chemistry, um, it really does a lot of healing to your body. So um, feeling that chemistry is a really good thing. So he says, take some time today really to embrace the feelings of excitement you have with another person because as you feel those feelings it can really heal so much within you um physically personally etherically so take take a little time to um just feel feel the feelings of excitement of of being being with that you know that special person so we hope that message reaches everyone well and we hope everyone has a great day thank you